AFTV, um, it's disappointing today because we were there. We were, you know, I mean, that's the annoying thing about it. After a poor performance, let's have it right. A bamming yet again, we think has pulled us out of jail. We're there, then we go and throw it away. Then even after that, we have a next chance. And a bamming and misses a very easy chance and we are out of the Europa League. I, I'm, I'm still pretty shocked about it. I'll be honest with you, a, a, a piece of me died when, when they scored. Um, you got to remember, we're playing a team that was playing in the Champions League a few, a few months ago. This is actually our first test of playing Champions League caliber teams and we have failed. Now the question I gotta ask is, I'm hearing all the fans here talking about, oh, we're not making a, cha we're not, we're not gonna make it, oh, we need to make in the Champions League, we need to make in the Champions League. What are we gonna do in the Champions League? Well, getting into the Champions League yeah, enables you, yeah. enables you to buy better players. So, it, it, you know, what, one of the reasons why you see Arsenal scrimping and scraping every, summer transfer window at the moment is because they do not have that Champions League money. They're losing revenue of 50 million plus every year. You can't pay the wages. It's harder to attract those big players. We've seen the fight that we got at the moment to hold on to Aubameyang, right? So it's vital to get into the Champions League. And when you get in, you can attract better players. Um, I just think that's, that's excuses. I mean, other teams have managed to attract big players without Champions League. All we're going to do is go to the Champions League and then end up in the Europa again. That has been the trend. What, those, those, which big clubs have been able to do that? When you, United were able to sign players. Where are and what competition are they in? What players have they attracted? Have got those players wait, have not wait, got wait, them into I, I, the Champions League, have they? United were able to sign Pogba, and I don't think they were. I the, they, they were saying, the Champions still... League. But what I'm trying to say, overall, what I'm trying to say is, we, the, 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 first of all, the table doesn't lie. Mm. We're sitting ninth on the table, and this result also doesn't lie. This guy, the um, Olympiacos' manager, outsmarted Arteta. Simple as that. This guy, he had a game plan, stick in the game as far as you can, uh, for as long as you can, and then hit them. And that's exactly what they did. He executed that perfectly. This is the one game we needed to draw. We've been drawing all fucking season. And the one game to draw, we couldn't do it. The one game to draw, we couldn't do it. And then I realized we became so reliant on Saka. We've been reliant on Saka. And they clocked that. They were, just be, they were able to just lock him off. You know, that supply line coming, coming, coming through, they locked that off. And from there, it's like we didn't have any creativity. The whole team was flat. You know, Leno, and he saved us all season. But his feet, defeat, he's good with his hands, but when he touches his foot, I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to blame him, but, you know. He has to take a lot of blame for conceding that corner in the last week. You've got to... At the very least, send the ball up the pitch. Do, do not... You, we all saw how dangerous they were from corners and how poor we were defending them. Why give them one in the last seconds of the game? You know that if that goes in, that's it, it's done. I couldn't understand what I saw there. To be fair to him, yeah, they didn't score from the corner directly. There was, it's all come from that, But there it? was plays off, uh, after it's that. It's all come from that. But um, no, we can't really blame Leno today. Like, I mean, you, you, you can say something about him, but you can't really blame him because he's had, he's had a phenomenal season for us so far. Yeah. But again, when it matters, the players have flopped us again, you know. Any chance of getting into, you know, back into the Champions League through the league? That's the only hope now. I mean, I, I remember I've been speaking to a lot of fans um, f throughout the season and they'd be like, oh, let's just, let's just go for the Europa League. We can get through. And I've been saying to people all along, that's harder, I think, to win a cup competition is hard eh? any on any given day and you saw it today on any given day a team that is not even as good as you can beat you and we saw that today on away goals you don't have away goals in the league so is there a chance to still with the games that are left get back into the Champions League fifth could even be enough Robbie we had Champions League football essentially in our hands today and now you're telling it's still miles to go. No, no, long way to go. No, you still got a long way to go, <laughs> but you're you're still in your hands to move forward. Do you understand? How do you think we're going to qualify for a competition that ain't in our hands in the league? Do you understand? How do you think? Like, it's you, about winning games, isn't it? And it, and it's going to be about winning some big games to have any possibility. It's going to be about um, winning big games, but I feel like everything we've built so far, you know, our game management. 
our um our our flu fluidity went out the window today. And I'm, I'm kind of scared that we might lose that in the coming games because mm. it took a lot to get us the confidence to get us where we were in these last four four or five games. And now it's gone and it's like, are the players' heads going to drop? You know? And one thing I'm worried about now is Obama Yang. I'm really worried about Obama Yang. Like, is this man going to stay? Nope. And like I said before, he's now is the time he's got to come out and say, do you know what? End of the season, I'm gone. Because now there's actually no, the season is done, the season is but finished. It wouldn't make no sense for him to say it now, would it? It makes it makes all the sense for him to say it now, even more so now, because now we know there is no there is no Europa, there is no European football now. So now he's got to come out and say, look, this is what it is. I'm staying or I'm not. Let's get the season. Let's get our now. We're preparing for the preseason now. We're going to fight for the. That, that's our next thing now. It's preseason. This season is done. I don't think we're going to do it in the league. And if we do, then good. But I do not think we're going to do it in the league. The players that we've got in this team are poor players. Let's be honest. Don't let the victories that we have fool you. The players that we have in this team are poor players. That's why every transfer window, you never hear teams coming in for them. Never. That tells you everything you need to know.